Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.68 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is find the Thevenin equivalent circuit with respect to the terminals AB for the circuit in figure P4.68. Okay, this is the terminal AB. Maybe we need to find out the RTH first. So there is two things that we need to find out. The first one will be the Thevenin voltage. And the second one will be the Thevenin resistance. Maybe let's do the PTH first. Okay, finding PTH. PTH. Okay. Let's set the bottommost node here as our ground. So this will be, the voltage here will be zero. But then this will be 300 volt from the ground, right? because this is 300 volt voltage source. And let's name this node here as node C. And let's assume the direction of the current. Okay, maybe it goes there, it goes there, it goes down, it goes to the right. Okay, we need to do KCL at two places here, which is in VA and VC. Okay, maybe let's do the VC first. KCL at node VC. Okay, KCL state that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out, right? Okay, the current that goes in into node C is only this one. So we will have 300 minus VC. divided by 40 and there are two currents that goes out this is vc over 8 so we will have vc over 8 and then that one will be vc minus va divided by 10 vc minus va divided by 10 yeah 10 i think we can multiply both sides by 40 to cancel out all the denominator so we will have 300 minus VC. And 8 and 40 will cancel into 5. So we'll have 5 VC. And 10 and 40 will cancel into 4. So we will have 4 VC minus 4 VA. Great. Okay, now we will have 10 VC minus 4 VA. 10 VC minus 4 VA. And that will equal to 300. And I think that will be our first equation. And now let's do another KCL, but this time at node A. KCL at node PA. Okay, the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out, right? This is going in, so we will have Vc minus Va. Vc minus Va divided by 10. And then another current goes in, which is this one. So we we'll have plus 300 minus Va divided by 150. And the current that goes out is only from this current source because this is going there, right? So we will have this equal to 3. Okay, let's multiply this by 150. Okay. And so we will have 15 VC minus 15 VA. And then this one will cancel each other. So we will have 300 minus VA. And we will have 450 here. 450. Okay, so we will have 15 VC. Minus 16 VA. And that will equal to 150, right? 150. And I think this is our second equation. 
And we need to find out VC and VA from there. VC and VA. Okay, let's do our calculator. And let's set it up as equation solver, which is number 5 and number 1. So we will have 10 minus 4 and then 300. Then we will have 15 minus 16 and then 150. Okay, VC is 42. Okay, VC is 42. VC is 42. And what is VA? VA is 30. Okay, good. So VA is 30 and the unit will be 4 and 4. And so we will have VTH is equal to, remember that VTH is equal to VA. So we will have 30 for, for VTH. Okay, so VTH done. We need to find out the RTH now. Okay, let's clean up the board first. Okay, so far we got the VTH. Now we need to find out the RTH. Let's do that. Finding RTH. Okay, we need to replace the circuit with the sources turn off. Turn off meaning that the op the current source will replace by open circuit, and the voltage source is replaced by short circuit. Okay, so now let's redraw the circuit here. So we will have the current source is open circuit, so I don't need to draw it. So we will have this 150 ohm. Okay, and then here we will have that 40 ohm and then we will have this 10 ohm okay and then we will have this as short circuit and we will have this as 8 ohm Okay, and we need to see it from here. Okay, see it from here. So this is the RTH. Okay, and this is A and this is B. Okay, what can we do first? Yeah, this 40 and 8 is in parallel. So let's maybe write that. 40 and 8 is in parallel. And then it is in series with the 10, right? So we will have plus 10 first. Okay. And then what else? They are both. They are both in parallel with 150. Okay, maybe let's calculate this first. I need some space from here. Let's move this a bit higher. Okay, let's do this one. 40 parallel with 8. 40 parallel with 8. That should be 40 multiplied by 8 divided by 40 plus 8, right? So we'll have 20 over 3. Okay, maybe let's write it like that. So we'll have 20 over 3 plus 10, which is 30 over 3, right? So we'll have 30 over 3. And that will be in parallel with 150. So we will have 50 over 3. 50 over 3 in parallel with 150. So this is the RT8 side. Okay, let's calculate this in calculator. So we will have its fraction and fraction again maybe 50 over 3 
that will need to be multiplied by 150 divided by fraction again 50 over 3 plus 150 yeah that will be 15 oh nice number 15 oh yeah the rth will be 15 so we got the VTH and RTH, so we can draw the Thevenin equivalent. So the Thevenin equivalent circuit, that will be 30 volt and then 15 ohm. F15 ohm, and this is terminal A, and this is terminal B. And this is the final answer for the question 4.68. Okay, I think that's all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.